Okay, YouTubers, this is on a 2011 XC90 3.2 all wheel drive. I have 81 almost 82,000 miles, and this is the same uh, Volvo I'm working on for the past uh, month now. But, anyways, this is all are my codes right here. Start from the beginning. Have this P one E. That's the cam positioning sensor. Already, yep. Replace those. Replace that sensors. The VVT or the valve reset. New cap. Uh, yep. Uh, it's related to the other one. So same shit. Same one. Uh, same um, first control valve circuit open uh, parts on the way but I probably have a good part uh, yep same same so anyways here's what I found um, I was going to do a more in-depth troubleshooting so I had first I had my uh, battery charger here hooked up so that way I have a, uh, a good uh, voltage to my battery because like I said I'll be all day troubleshooting uh, the system. So and I do have uh, my printed out schematics over here and this is all my valves that I replaced. So pretty much I have replaced this. Uh, this is the cam reset valve I have the uh, cam position sensor for the exhaust cam positioning for the the front or the intake and I just found out that this valve right here is for my intake side and this is the uh, cam profile sensor by the way and and this is the uh, exhaust side uh, it's hard to tell because they're pretty much in line with each, uh, which is other so you can't really tell which one is intake and exhaust so the only way I found out is through the schematics here but here's what I found out right so at this line 11 I'll go ahead forward it the next page so at the junction box right right here and Everything is tied in over here and it's fuse 15A. So I'm supposed to have 12 volts, right? This green wire 12 volts all the way over here. Oops, oh, right here. So and they're all tied in together here. It's supposed to have 12 volts, and that's one of them. And I have 1.9, and it's going crazy, right? So I'm like, okay, maybe there's something wrong with the harness. So I start shaking this, right? I start wiggling it. Watch this. See? Now I had 11.9 volts. Wiggle. See? One volt. So all the parts that I have replaced, they're probably freaking good. So the issue is here, in this freaking retarded box. So if you ever had the same issues I have, pretty much going crazy, haywire as I called it, uh, you might want to check the box first and do a multimeter make sure you have 12 volts because because the other line here is everything is computer grounded so computer controlled so do that first check your box i don't know why it went loose but i'm about to find out and check it out so at the end of this video or my next video i'll probably follow up on the, the fix on how i did it and what i found out but so far if you have a code like that, intermittent, whatever, check those first. Alright, out.